All right, we've got one minute to go. So I'm gonna put my gloves on. I'm gonna like, hop into the scene. I'm just using the Nintendo Direct scene. And then um, I made some changes. <laughs> I moved some things around. Here we are. My hands will disappear. No, they won't. They they actually match the scene quite well. <laughs> that that's what I'm dressed as. I'm dressed as my layout today. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nope. Oh, it's 8 a.m. How's the volume? It's probably a little, a little loud. <laughs> it seems a little loud, but... <gasps> I can't wait! Hi, Dark Destiny. Sounds good. Love that. Okay, we got 30 seconds. Here we go. Oh, I guess I can make this a little smaller. I had to cover up the Nintendo Switch icon. <laughs> You're wired. Love that. Yo, here we go. Woo! Hi, Hebe. You're at work, oh. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. What is this Pikachu? Today... February 27th is Pokemon Day. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were Pikachu? first released in Japan. What is this? <laughs> marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. At the time, only 151 Pokemon had been discovered. But now that number has grown to over 1,000. I, that's, I think that's what we're going to get. For all you trainers around the world who have journeyed together with your Pokemon over the years... Also, we are so thankful for no Gen 5 plushies in the background. I'm so sad. <laughs> in today's presentation, we will be bringing you all sorts of news about Pokemon. First, we would like to talk about this year's Pokemon World Championships, the first ever to be held in Japan. Oh, I didn't even think anything about this. Mr. Chris Brown, take it away. Chris Brown? Oh, good. <laughs> I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm so glad to join you again to talk about our annual Pokemon Where are there Gen 5 Champions. plushies in here this background? This past year in London, more than 10,000 <laughs> trainers from all over the world gathered together to celebrate Pokemon and experience epic battles. Thank you to all the trainers who made the London World Championships our longest <laughs> I know, I was like, what? Congratulations <laughs> again to our newest World Champions. Now I'd like to share with you all some details about our next event. No, they're all Gen 8. The 2023 Pokemon World Championship <laughs> will be held in Japan for the very first time. We look forward to trainers battling in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games, the Pokemon Training Card game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite. That's, that's content, Mama. <laughs> Pacifico, Yokohama. For more than a decade, we oh, created that's cute. special artwork to honor Oh, I knew that, that each was the art for it. Makes the world championship experience <laughs> I don't think it's seen the earliest one. Today, I am happy to share <gasps> the key art for Yokohama for the very first time. Oh, how cute. Let's have a look. Oh, of course, the Tatsugiri are in it. I don't like that one world as much. World Championships is so special because of how our community from around the world comes together to play Pokemon. We can't wait to see you there. And for those that can't make it, not the dreamy sure plushies on the head the on our live broadcast all weekend long. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. I hear Scarlet and Violet music. We can't wait to see everyone together in Yokohama later this year. Moving on, please have a look at this video. 
Oh. Okay, this is definitely Scarlet and Violet, because this is what the tra the reveal for it was. <gasps> Wait, card game classic. Never mind, maybe it's not Scarlet and Violet. Oh my. I didn't even have anything on here about the cards either. <laughs> She's very fiercely diva, though. I want that might be Amy. I wonder if they're gonna do like a new version of the card game that they had like on the Game Boy. Oh, not the fucking Charizard! Not my delayed reaction. So over it. So, like, are they re-releasing the cards? That's Pokemon the only one I have. I have the classic starter set. ...to be a premium Pokemon TCG set that will last a lifetime. Created by the design firm Nendo, Creatures, and the Pokemon Company as a joint production. We'll be providing a sneak peek of the product at the Pokemon World Championships. That's cool. I hope you will all come check it out. The mat was really nice. I like I it just looks Next, really sleek. We'd like to announce a new Pokemon venture. Oh! To tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. This oh, is this the anime? For the kind introduction. Hi everyone. My name is Min Young Kim and I oversee Netflix film and series from Asia Pacific. Thank you for having us here today, and I'm thrilled to share how we're bringing Pokemon and Netflix together for the first time this year. At Netflix, we're passionate about developing local programming that entertains audiences around the world. And so today, we're pleased to announce that Netflix, in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, The Pokemon Concierge. Oh! We have a group of experts here in Japan who are passionate about finding and developing original stories from Japan that can excite audiences all over the world. And we are dedicated to adapting fan favorite stories and manga into extraordinary shows. With this title, are they going to follow the manga? An entirely new storyline that expands the Pokemon universe with groundbreaking stop motion animation. Oh, what? To bring this new world to life we've partnered with the amazing creative team at Dwarf Studio. The series That's is fierce. set at the Pokemon Resort follows the story of our concierge Haru and the many Pokemon who visit as guests. We hope you enjoy today's first look at the Netflix series <gasps> Pokemon Concierge. Oh, and we can't I'm so excited. wait to share more with you. You know, I love stop motion, so... Pokemon Resort. This is so cute. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in. I'm invested. <laughs> Pokemon Concierge will be a new animated series brought to you by Netflix and Pokemon. Please stay tuned for this new series release. The Alola music. Now, we'd like to present the latest news about our games. Okay, let's go. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. Yes, we get his gorgeous hair. Ugh. Hello, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Have you all been making good progress with your treasure hunt in the Paldea region? Darn Skippy! Today, we have updates on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. But first, please take a look at the latest updates about several of our other games. And still no Gen 5s in the, star in the background. I'm so sad. 
Oh, okay. The five on five strategic team battle game. Maybe I get something right here. We've entered our second year of service and surpassed 100 million total downloads. More and more Pokemon have joined the fray, allowing for even more strategies and ways to play. Now if you give me a Chandelure. The legendary Pokemon Zacian is now joining Unite Battle. Okay, this we already knew. Unite move is Sovereign Sword. It can cut a broad swath with its slash attack. It can also charge and sword this fucker is going to be so overpowered so fast. Use these huge attacks to overwhelm your opponent. If there was one, absolutely. Oh, that's cute. The adventure in Zashian's Wield event is now underway. Complete missions to receive rewards. I may have to play some of this today. So be sure to join in. There's also a boss rush event underway. Oh! Formidable foes with your allies and earn rewards. Plus, to celebrate Pokemon Day, we're distributing a gift code for a special item. And we're hosting an invitation only league to decide our Asia region champions. Check out how the battles are going on the official Pokemon Unite social channels. The teams that win their way through each league will come together in a dramatic face off in Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur on March 18th and 19th. Look forward to I love the Hollowear in in this game. A lot of it is really cute. Is this her Pokemon Cafe? Not the not the Fido and the small live. Oh no. Oh my goodness, what is this? Yeah, this is definitely cafe. Yay! What's this? Steam <gasps> of our newest dish has brought some customers to the cafe. Here at the cafe in the Babies, Pokemon all of them. Game, we meet Pokemon from the Paldea region. Sprigatito, Huecoco, and Quaxley whip up plenty of servings of the new Paldea dish and bring delight to your Pokemon visitors. Progress through the event and you'll be able to choose one of these three to join your staff. Oh. Which one will you choose? To celebrate Pokemon Day in Pokemon Cafe Remix, we're also giving away a special in-game Great Chef outfit for Greninja. And there's more. You can now deliver to a whole array of five-star chef Pokemon that have appeared in the past. To celebrate this special day, Yay! You can enjoy a bonus 11 times express delivery right now without using in-game currency. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix. Which is not that much. They, they give those out all the time. Discover <laughs> what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe. I play this game every day, though. It's such a, like, a really relaxing little extra thing to do. <gasps> I hope you're ready. Oh, this is Masters. Those with the strongest convictions will win. I'm not gonna let you win. Shine on. This is for the other mobile game. <laughs> Mystery. At once. Let's go. Come on. All right. My wish is for Galos trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. <laughs> I want to be as strong as Lee. Oh, his outfit's really I'm cute. Gonna be even stronger. I love the outfits in this game too. Pink is all well and good, I suppose. But I think I'll cover you in the color of feet. Oh, I love that, because he was a psychic trainer. And then she gets the mole trace? Love that. Let me show you the power of spike. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. Let's get this started. Ugh. Work. I log back in. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long. But I will log in so I can get 100 sync pairs. Because there's a lot I haven't picked up. Moving on, please have a look at this video. I open my eyes. 
This is Pokemon Sleep. This is Pokemon Sleep. I was right. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't had any news about this for like three or four years now. I will be using. <laughs> that would be so uncomfortable, sleeping with a slow bro in your bed. I can see maybe the port for the sequel. <laughs> Good morning. This is a cute little promo, but it doesn't tell me anything about what it is other than that it gets a sleep aid. <laughs> but they said that it works with like the Pokemon Go Plus thing too, and that you can link it with Pokemon Go. We know we've kept you all waiting, but at last, Yay! we can bring Pokemon Sleep to you later this year. The idea behind Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. To get oh. a better idea of what you can expect, please check out the next video. Welcome to the world of Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. On this island, you'll find great big Snorlax and Professor Neroli, who is researching Pokemon Sleep. It's easy to play on this island. All you have to do is get a good night's sleep. If you leave your smartphone by your pillow when you go to bed, your sleep will be measured, recorded, and analyzed. Once that's done, it will be categorized into one of three sleep types. I can't wait for it to read me. Snoozing <laughs> or slumbering. Pokemon that tend to sleep in the same way as you did will gather around Snorlax. As you keep this up, you might even discover some rare in-game sleep styles that most will never see. It seems that each species of Pokemon has several sleep styles. Get lots of sleep and try to- Not one-eyed sleep! <laughs> Enjoy going to sleep this feel. each day as you research the sleep styles of Pokemon together with Snorlax. Okay, this is cute. By using the Pokemon Sleep app regularly, you can have fun while tracking the regularity of your sleep or rest rhythm. Pokemon Sleep will be available for iOS and Android devices later this year. Instant download. <laughs> we'd like to introduce the device you just got a glimpse of, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Plus Plus? This is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus accessory. It is a new device that you can use with Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Go. It's very simple to use it with Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> Maybe think for the resub. And press that button once again when you wake up in the morning. Just like that, your sleep data has been measured. There's a Pikachu within your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Please. Grow friendlier the more sleep you get together. Even unlock new alarm sounds for you. It's like you're cuddled up to catch <laughs> the Radio J, thank you for this that prime sub. Has handy functions for playing Pokemon Go. Without even pulling out your smartphone, you can automatically spin <laughs> the way at the my break. Where's that choice of all? <laughs> Ultra Balls as well, at the press of a button. 
There are future plans to add new functionality that'll use your sleep data in Pokemon Go too. Stay tuned for more! What do you think? The Pokemon Go Plus Plus device should be available to purchase in <laughs> July. And by linking the Pokemon Go Plus Plus to your Pokemon Go game, oh, you'll how get cute. access to special research in Pokemon Go that will allow you to encounter a Snorlax wearing a nightcap. Look forward to more news to come about Pokemon Sleep and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus device. And next, we turn to the latest updates about Pokemon okay. Scarlet and Okay, this Pokemon is probably Go the last thing. The newest games in the Pokemon series. These usually are only... Last year. I know, it's so silly. We fixed the raids! No! I think it's DLC. Oh! This is like proper reveal! Work. New Paradox Pokemon have been found in the Paldea region. It seems Walking Wake appears in Pokemon Scarlet, while Iron Leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. Okay, I kind of like Iron Leaves more. <laughs> I don't you like its little arms. <laughs> by claiming victory in a terror raid battle event. The event will begin not long after this broadcast, as soon as preparations are complete. We hope you'll team up with family, friends, and other trainers to take on this challenge. So we might be doing this today. The games will also soon be able to connect to Pokemon Go. In Pokemon Go, you can receive gifts from friends or by visiting Pokestops around the world. These gifts come with postcards. Once it's possible to connect these games, you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game, and you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appears oh! is based on the postcard's location data. And on the Pokemon Go side, the players who have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul. That's that cute! Game. Try to collect 999 Gimme Ghoul coins to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go. We're also planning to begin Pokemon Home support for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet early this year. You've got like one month. Then you'll be able to bring roaming form Gimme Ghoul that you've caught in Pokemon Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via Pokemon Home. We hope you look forward to it. After that, we are no longer in early 2023. Finally, we'd like to share our last video for today with you. Please have a look at this. Okay. This is their big thing. Okay, Scarlet and Violet DLC. Oh, that's cute. I want that wind chime. Wait, what were those? Is this a Legends game? That, it looks like Ilex Forest. Is it Legends Johto? Who are these people? What? <laughs> Gen 10! No! <laughs> okay, this is DLC. What was the other thing? Okay. What is... Okay. Oh! That's...
that's the that's the thingy. That's the thingy in the um that causes the terror stuff. That's like the hinted at in the post game. Available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero will be released in two parts, with part one, The Teal Mask, coming in fall 2023. Part That's two, so far away. <laughs> will be distributed in winter 2023. Purchasing the hidden treasure of Area Zero will allow you to enjoy playing both parts of the DLC with the save data you already have in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. In part one, the Teal Mask, okay. you'll we'll be visiting the land of Kitakami what as are part these of a things? trip as your adventures expand beyond the Paldea region. And in part two, the Indigo Disc, you'll be studying oh. as an exchange student. I don't know why my, my mod chat or my auto mod i'll approve stuff and it goes thank you for your feedback and then it deletes it <laughs> some familiar pokemon that you didn't see living in paldea oh oh yay the legendary pokemon i have to go back and look in i saw zip strike i'm happy zero are ogre pawn with its fearsome mask and terapagos resplendent in its glittering aura Please look oh, that's a cute name. Story that will unfold in two parts as you discover the roles because it's a Terra Galapagos turtle. <laughs> the hidden treasure of Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation ends. As soon as you make your purchase, you'll be able to get the new uniform set Work. and don some new outfits in your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. But I want more new outfits. As an early purchase bonus. We've also prepared a serial code that will allow you to claim a special Hisuian Zor arc for your in-game team. We hope you enjoy these expanded adventures in the Pokemon Yeah, Scarlet it, and Pokemon in the same Violet colors we already have, literally. What did you think? As we move forward, we'll keep trying to find new ways to bring the joy of Pokemon to you all. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Goodbye, Uncanny Valley Pikachu. Um, honestly, not much. Pokemon Sleep, Scarlet Violet DLC. Um, they showed off the Suicune and Verizian that were leaked for Scarlet and Violet. Um, and apparently that starts today. Like, there's gonna be terror raids for those two. Um... What else did we get? Oh, trading card game. They're re-releasing like the original trading card game stuff. Um, there was a little bit of stuff for Pokemon Unite. Uh, the Gen 9 starters in Pokemon Cafe. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus device. I think that was everything. But I want to go back and see. Okay, so they said there was going to be new Pokemon coming in the DLC. That's what I care about. Whoops. I want to see. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm always, like, disappointed with things at the end. Okay, I want to go back and look at this. Whatever this was. What are these? What are these Pokemon up here? Are these, like, new legendaries? Is this, like, a new trio? I like this bird. I don't like the monkey. This panda thing is fine, but it seems like furry bait. Okay, Hebe, thanks for hanging out. I want to know who this person is. She seems pretty fierce. Um. Oops, here. We'll watch this part again, and I'll pause it. Yeah, I want to see the new Pokemon. But also, look at these masks. I don't... That's the panda, and then I guess that's the monkey. And the bird. So those are, I guess they're all, they just leaned in on the mask things. All I saw, I saw Ninetales, I saw Milotic, Al Creamy. Okay, that, okay, this bird, love. The other two, this, this monkey thing, awful. Hate it. Um, this one, is fine. 
but not my favorite. But the bird is is the best one of the three. The bird's great. The monkey looks like a Mojo Jojo reject. Okay, and so then I guess this is the island base. Okay, is this a mammoth swine? And a geodude? Oh no. No, no, no. Not geodude. I've seen enough of them. But I guess that makes sense, because that would be a way for them to bring a lowland geodude back into things. Okay, is there anything else new in this picture? No. The lady with the glasses is probably like the main. Oh my god. Let's see, are you gonna allow this this time? Hi ninjas, how are we feeling? I'm feeling mild <laughs> about this. I'm not really crazy about a lot of it. Um, you know, I wanna see what the new stuff is. DLC will be available for purchase. Okay, hold on. Come on, allow. I love how, yeah, Automod keeps pulling multiple times. <laughs> he keeps message and it said, no. I know, well, because that, that shrine thing, it looked like um, the Ilex Forest. So I was like, oh, are we going? Are we going there? For the Pokemon Scarlet and but Pokemon that's cool Violet games. that it's like a, a festival thing. Is the, is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Okay. It's part of a school trip as your adventures expand beyond the Paldea region. And in part two, the Indigo Disc, you'll be studying as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. Blueberry, oh, because it's oranges and grapes. Oh, those two, those are the two kids from the festival. During these adventures, you'll be able to encounter- Okay. Whimsicott, great. So I'm looking at this, just to see, like, are there things off of here that are on my target list for the year? Esper, wonderful. Alchemy, great. Um, I'm, I'm very excited about Blitzel and Zubstriker coming back. But the fact that they put Chingling and Yanma in the first wave, when they were both heavily featured in BDSP, Chingling especially, and... Both of them are all over the place in PLA. And there's no confirmation about Swaddle. That's what I want to know. I want to know which set Swaddle is coming back in. If Swaddle is coming back at all. It should be. Also, the Elemental Monkeys. Like, I'm surprised those aren't back yet. Though, because those are real, some of the only ones that don't have anything past Gen 7. So, we'll see. Okay. Counter some familiar Pokemon that you didn't see living in Paldea. Also, um... The legendary... Shiny hunting for Seal and Dugong in these games is gonna be a nightmare. Because it is so marginally different. It's like cream instead of white. Pokemon that newly appear in the hidden treasure of Area Zero are Ogre Pond, with its fearsome mask, and Terrapagos, resplendent in its glittering aura. Please I do. Forward to a new story I really like two parts as you Terrapagos. The roles that both these Pokemon will play in your adventures. But the, the ogre thing, I don't really Zero care. Will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after the okay. presentation. Well, now that we've seen everything, let's go back up here. 
And yeah, I think it's cute because it's like it's terrestrialization and then um, Galapagos. And I think it's cute. Um, and that's the one that was kind of hinted at in the story. Okay, let's take a look at the... I'm going to take these gloves off so I can actually use my hands. Um, let's take a look and see what we got coverage for, for this bingo thing. So I'm going to put music back on. Okay. Um, we're just going to use Applin for this. For my bingo marker. Okay. So, um, we didn't get a new Mystery Dungeon game. We didn't get anime news. No Gen 5 pledges in the background. No Pokemon shirts news. Um, we did get some new Pokemon Master Sync pairs shown off. Which I think they were probably already revealed, but I'm counting it. They got featured. I'm going to do the same thing with, with, um, oh, there was unfortunately a couple Charizards in there. We got Scarlet Violet DLC. We got Pokemon Sleep. We got a Pikachu. Um, we did get a surprise update thing, the, the raid events in Scarlet and Violet. Um, we got Zinomiya and his gorgeous hair. We got a new animated thingy. Um, we got a new... One, two, three, four, five. There's three, six, seven, eight. Where's the ninth one? Oh, over here. We got a new Pokemon species or form reveal. That's not what I wanted to do. We got Pokemon uh, Unite character reveal. And we got Pokemon Cafe Remix news. So, again, I missed quite a bit this time, but um, not too shabby. Realistically, not too shabby. I mean, considering the Nintendo Direct had a lot more content. We had 40 minutes of content compared to like 20, 25. Um, and I managed to get almost the entire board <laughs> had some coverage there. But uh, but yeah, I was really hoping we would have gotten stuff on the Game Boy. I'm sad we didn't. Um, left crumbs all over the bed. It's not bad, it's just meh. Yeah. But, I mean, not too terrible. I mean, look at that. We had three, really four instances of getting three in, in a, a line. But, you know, we were just too off from bingo in, like, basically <laughs> most places. Um, you know, the far right column, we were off, to, off by two. The bottom row, off by two. That diagonal, well, the one going this, no, this way. The one going this way for all of you at home. Um, we're two off on those corner spaces. We were missing two in that first column. Missing those two diagonals there for the, the Game Boy games. But yeah, not too, not too shabby. I'm gonna, let me see if... Where did these go? Not in there.
Okay. 